Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, I went to court today, right, mm. and uh, it was a status hearing, yeah. Um, and the problem was that uh, the court doesn't understand what they're doing. I'll give you an example. Uh, see this that was filed on October 20th of 2016? Yes. Where uh, the report of the competency evaluator who is a professional person, yeah. RCW 10.77.010. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, the nature of the charges. Mm. The defendant is charged with a misdemeanor crime of violation of a protection order. Mm. This is a serious offense. Right. Because oh, it is listed oh, uh, in RCW 10.77.092 as a serious offense per se. Yes. Now, um, this X that's right there, uh -huh. the actual state law says it's a serious offense. Mm -hmm. Now, I just talked to you about where I was at on that day. See, what happens is, yes, is that when you think something is a serious offense and you use mental health evaluations, yes, without any evidence that I was in Swim, Washington, you've been making shows, uh -huh. You've been getting paid. Oh, you've been covering up. Mm -hmm. But what you're doing is you're breaking the judicial system. Now, there's no possible way that I should have spent any time in jail. Mm -hmm. I had told my public defender, Ouch, this protection order is fraud. Yes. I had said that I wasn't in Squim, Washington and had the evidence to prove it. Ouch. The actual surveillance camera, yes, of the buses that I was on that morning. Yeah, because I do know where I was sleeping. I was sleeping at the Serenity House that evening. Oh, oh, oh. now for every cop, yes, every sheriff, yes, every judge, yes, that thinks that they can just do whatever the fuck they want. You are breaking the economic system of the, of the world. See, this should never happen. Mm -hmm. When I inform you on November 20th of 2015, yes, that it's official misconduct to refuse to enforce the laws. <laughs> and you and yours decide, well, fuck this guy. We're going to we're going to break the judicial system. <laughs> what happened then? Yes, because that's when I informed you, right, that the petitioner didn't sign it. Yes. A requirement of law. Yes. I was not given any due process. That's a requirement of law. Yes. And that you, yes, are obligated to remove it. But instead, for three years, mm -hmm, you decided to torture me. Because you don't want to get sued. Now, you fucked up once. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Issuing the protection order without at least the petitioner's signature. Yes. Then you fucked up again because you made up a crime that I didn't commit. Mm -hmm. And then you fucked up again because you made up another crime where I did not commit the crime. And when I give you the... <laughs>